Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a couple Christmas DIYs. Um, some of the items I purchased from Dollar Tree and some are from Dollar General and everything is super affordable. I'm going to start by decorating this Christmas tree that I got from Dollar General for only 10 bucks. And y'all, I was able to transform this tree and make it so beautiful for less than $20 total. So right after assembling the Christmas tree, I decided to take a Dollar Tree laundry basket and cut the bottom of it off to make a Christmas tree collar. And it actually worked out really, really good and it looks so beautiful. You would never know it was a laundry basket underneath the fabric. And I decided to use a old dress to drape over mine, but I wanted to show you guys another option as well. If you have an old sweater, you can wrap it around and you can give it a really pretty texture, just like the one right here. So after figuring out how I wanted the Christmas tree collar to look, I went ahead and went in with some Christmas lights and added those. These were only $2.50 a box at Dollar General. So now moving on to the next DIY, I'm taking some floral wire and these wood beads that I got from Dollar Tree, and we are going to be putting them on this wire. The wire worked much better than a string just because the little wood beads aren't cut out perfectly, and the kids were able to help me with this project as well. After the kids were done adding the little wood beads to the floral wire, I laid it out and I started painting it white, just using some chalk paint I had on hand. I would definitely recommend using spray paint instead of a paintbrush. It was just a lot more time consuming doing it this way, but it worked. So if that's all you have on hand, it will turn out just fine. Um, but spray paint would have been much easier. So while those beads are drying, I'm moving back to the Christmas tree and I'm going to spray it with this spray snow. Just so you guys are aware, this snow is so messy. It falls off. Everything is white under it all the time. So just keep that in mind if you are going to use it. It is super affordable and that's why I chose to use it. And it also gives the Christmas tree a lot higher end of a look. But just know that it is extremely messy. So if you want to skip the step, I don't blame you. <laughs> um, and now I'm taking this burlap ribbon that I picked up from Dollar General for two bucks and I'm just wrapping it around to give the tree a little bit more of a fuller effect. It was kind of thin and you can see this tree is really tiny. It's not a big tree, but I wanted it to make a pretty large statement. So adding this ribbon I thought was really, really pretty. So a few hours had passed and I went ahead and added the string of beads that the kids and I created and I think this just gave the tree a lot higher end of a look. I really wish that I would have made this string a lot longer and I totally could have. There was plenty of beads left but the kids were kind of tired and I was trying to, you know, just get the project done. But definitely if you were going to recreate this, I say make it as long as you can because this turned out so, so beautiful and it just took a little bit of adjusting to get it on there right to look really pretty. So the kids and I are adding these Dollar Tree bulbs on the Christmas tree and I got a pack, I think it came in a pack of 10 for only a dollar, you can't beat that. It came with a string to hang them as well and they looked so, so beautiful. You would never know they were from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I'm actually adding a little bit more snow to the burlap just to kind of help it blend a little bit better. So 
So now moving on to the next DIY, I'm taking this old board and I'm going to be recreating these really pretty Christmas tree boards I've seen on Pinterest. I absolutely love the way they looked. So I had this old board already on hand and I took some masking tape to kind of map out how I wanted my tree to look. And I just simply took some chalk paint and painted a little Christmas tree on the board. I feel like this DIY was so, so pretty and very farmhouse style. It definitely fits perfectly with my decor and I'm so, so happy that I recreated this. After removing the tape, I didn't really like how plain the little tree looked, so I went in with the chalk paint and just very gently flicked some extra little branches on just to kind of fill it out a little bit more and make it a little bit more of my style. So originally I added this burlap ribbon to the top and bottom, but to be honest, it just really wasn't what I was going for. So I decided to just go ahead and do exactly what they did on their boards and take this um, little twine ribbon and tie that around it instead. After adding the twine to the top and the bottom, this is the finished product and I think it looks so, so beautiful. It matches perfectly with my farmhouse decor but gives you that little touch of Christmas. Um, and next, I just wanted to show you guys that I took these little houses from Dollar Tree and just simply painted them white and they turned out so, so pretty. Once again, it was better to spray paint them versus paint them with the paintbrush. Um, and now I'm just showing you that I took the candlestick and a vase from Dollar Tree and glued it together. I chose to simply leave it how it is because I think it looks really elegant and beautiful without painting and this is a little setup I decided to put together to show you guys how you can decorate on a very affordable budget. Now moving on to the very last DIY for this video, I'm taking these bells that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be touching them up and just recreating them to make them look a little bit higher end. Um, first, by taking these wooden beads and the floral wire, and I'm going to be making new handles for two of them. After taking the bell completely apart, I took it outside and I spray painted this one white with white chalk paint. And then I also spray painted the little handle black with using chalk paint as well. And then once they were fully dry, I did seal them using a polycrylic spray. It was just a really quick light coat just to make sure that nothing, you know, chips off or anything. 
Um, and then I assembled the little handle on first and then decided to add this golden bow that came from Dollar Tree in a two pack. And I feel like it really just transformed this little bell and it looks so nice. So after creating the bell that needed a little bit more work, I decided to show you guys one that really just was a simple fix. I just simply changed the bow out and that was it. And just changing the bow out alone made a huge difference. So if you're not really DIY savvy and you don't want to have to get into painting or anything, just simply changing the bow out on these really pretty bells made a huge difference. For the very last bell, I decided to change out the handle for a white beaded handle and I also added a really pretty um, Christmas tree pick that I already had. I just cut down and added the golden bow as well and this also changed the look of this bell with a very simple fix. So I also wanted to mention that I did decide to cut the ribbon down just because they were a little long on the bottom right here and once I trimmed them down, I feel like it really just made these bells pop and I just feel like this is one of the prettiest, easiest DIYs that you can do. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what was your favorite DIY in today's video. I appreciate you being here so very much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all. Dance, 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 dance,